Hey, my name is Scott Pavlonis, and I'm a student at Southern Illinois University. Today I will explain in-tank electric low-pressure fuel pumps. I will go over the components, operation, possible failures, and meter tests. This pump is specifically made for the 2000 Dodge Grand Caravan with a 3.3 liter engine. The fuel pump module contains the following. An electric fuel pump, the fuel pump reservoir, the inlet strainer, the fuel pressure regulator, the fuel gauge sending unit, and the fuel supply line connection. The pump draws fuel through a strainer and pushes it through the motor to the outlet. The pump contains one check valve. The check valve in the pump outlet maintains pump pressure during engine off conditions. The fuel pump relay provides voltage to the fuel pump. This is just going to be a demonstration. This is not anywhere near um, the performance that you would expect from a pump that's in the vehicle, but nonetheless, we're going to do it. So with the line going down, power on the system, and now we have 12 volts to the electric pump, just flowing the, in this case, water through here, and it is coming out of here, and this line is just creating suction. Now, it is flowing very slowly, gurgling like I said earlier. Now if I hold my thumb over the end of it, and build up some pressure, it does flow a small amount more. Um, but like I said, this is nowhere near the amount of pressure that you would see in an actual car. <clears throat> the spec for this vehicle, a 2000 Dodge Caravan with a 3.3 liter motor, is about 55 PSI. Now that you've seen the system operate overall, I'm going to demonstrate just what the pump does. This is the inlet to the pump. This is what the sock on the bottom of the fuel pump would normally be connected to, that square piece. So then by inserting this into the water with power and ground connected and not turned on yet, I'm going to aim this tube back into the water and you'll see what the flow would actually be. Now that flow will build up to about 55 PSI and it will be regulated by the regulator that we saw earlier. Let's say you have a vehicle that comes into the shop and the owner of the vehicle suspects it could be a fuel pump. What are some things that they may have experienced? One of the best indicators of a failing fuel pump is found on the road while driving your car at a consistently high speed. If a vehicle suddenly sputters and then resumes regular performance, there may be something wrong with the fuel pump itself. The engine sputtering happens because the pump is struggling to supply a constant stream of fuel to the engine at the proper pressure. Another common issue is surging. Sometimes a vehicle will be moving along normally at a consistent speed, and then out of nowhere it will pick up and surge forward, almost as if the gas pedal has been depressed. This is caused by an irregular resistance within the fuel pump motor itself. You can test the resistance by using an ohmmeter and testing at these two ports. This is a demonstration of testing the resistance of the motor. Set your meter to ohms on the lowest setting. In this case, the spec is 1 ohm, and it is right on the dot. Good. Two more common failure points are the brushes inside of the electric motor and corrosion on the connectors themselves. The issues with the electric motor is that after, over time, the brushes will start to wear out, the contact points will start to wear down. Now, when this happens, you often have the old trick of you know, hitting the fuel pump or hitting the fuel tank, you know, with a with a stick or something like that, or kicking it, and magically the vehicle will spring to life. You'll crank it and it'll work. Now, sometimes it has to do with rust in the tank, but usually it has to do with um, the brushes being uh, worn out. The kick trick is also common when the contacts on the connector have gone bad. As you can see inside here, there are three contacts. And the appropriate um, female connector that connects onto that end is 
often corroded because the fuel pump is underneath the vehicle. That's an, it's an easy diagnosis to figure that out, um, but if the fuel pump is doing that for long enough, you may end up with a fuel pump that refuses to start the vehicle. If that is the case, the fuel pump module will be, need to be replaced as it is all one unit and you cannot re replace just the connector or the motor itself. If a fuel pump suffers from lack of lubrication, age, or an internal issue for long enough, that may end up in a problem that results in a no-start. Um, when a fuel pump completely malfunctions, fuel cannot reach the engine upon ignition. If this happens, the engine will crank and rev, but it will never catch. This is going to be a demonstration of the pump standing alone without the module itself. So I'm just going to plug this in and it uh, should fire right up. Could be a bad pump. Hmm. We just have to bang the diesel a little bit. I love cars.